Welcome back everyone. In this video we're going to dive into the naming conventions that are used within Unreal Engine source code. Using this UE4 naming standard will help us be able to quickly identify the types of classes and objects in our project. We have a handy C++ cheat sheet available at uecas.com slash resources slash Unreal Engine C++ cheat sheet. There you can find these prefix and naming tables. Let's dive in on the prefixes. Previously, we covered how pawns and actors are some of the base classes within Unreal Engine. Within UE4, all classes that inherit from an actor will have a prefix of an A. This will allow us to identify what classes are actors while working within our code base. Furthermore, we see the other prefixes are pretty straightforward with Boolean as B, enums as E, interfaces as I, and so on. One caveat is the F prefix for struct. The F prefix is a fun backstory as shared by Dark Vale, who is an Unreal Engine programmer at Epic Games. In the UE forums, he states that Tim Sweeney wrote the original F vector class, which represented a floating point vector. This naming convention was used for other math constructs as the engine utilized floating point values extensively. To this day, some classes still represent their original Unreal Engine 1 counterparts. Now that we've covered that fun tangent, let's jump into the code base and see how this gets used. In our first person character class, we see we have our AUE FPS test character class. If we go to the header file for this class, we see that it inherits from the A character class. Because we have an A, we know that this is an actor. Next, we can go into the A character file, and we see that it also inherits from A pawn, which we know is an actor. What we see is the pawn is the base class for all actors that can be possessed by players or AI. They are the physical representations of players and creatures in a level. What we also see is that the A pawn class inherits from A actor, which is what propagates the actor prefix up to our AUE FPS test character class. We also see that pawn inherits from the I nav agent interface, so we know that the pawn is both an actor and that it implements the navigation agent interface methods. Digging deeper, we see a T array, which is a template array of F lifetime property objects. Within the F lifetime property class, we see its job is to store an unsigned 16-bit integer for the rep index, as well as the lifetime condition and lifetime rep notify condition, which are both enums with the E prefix. Further down, we see a U property, which is allowing this Boolean variable B use controller rotation pitch to be modified anywhere, as well as the ability to modify within blueprint with the blueprint read write property. Next, we see a T enum as byte array, which is a template enum array. The E auto receive input class is an enum class prefixed with E. Inside, we can see it has nine different enum types for automatically receiving input from a player. Outside of C++ naming conventions, it's also common to name any blueprint classes with BP underscore. If we take our UE FPS test character C++ class and create a new blueprint from it, we can prefix this with bp underscore. This allows us to know what classes within the editor are blueprints. In the top right of our new blueprint class, we can see that it inherits from our base C++ character class, which if we click on, will take us back to our C++ code where we started. Utilizing these naming standards will make it easier for us and team members to know which type each class is at a quick glance. These standards help the entire team, both veterans and newcomers, understand the code base in a shorter amount of time. Now that we've covered our naming standards, in the next video, we'll start coding our FPS game from scratch.